Hello princesses, today I'm going to be doing a back to school outfits video. Of course I am not going back to school myself because it is the middle of the year in New Zealand so we are already still at school and also I am the teacher, not the student. <laughs> but my viewership is also around about the same age as me so it's likely that you are not the student either and if you're looking for some more work appropriate outfits, probably more based in the winter because that's what it is in New Zealand. Um, then this might be the video for you. So getting straight into it, I have three items on in this outfit that are from this video and one that is not. The first one that is not is the um, brown pants. These ones are just from Zara and I have them in like five or six different colors. They're like the best fitting pants I've ever honestly owned, which is why I have them in so many colors. So we're not actually going to talk about these. They're just like a placeholder, like a color. So the first thing is actually the top. This one is just a white long sleeved, thick, soft top. I kind of wish that it wasn't quite as high in the neckline. It's very tight as well, so it does feel like it's choking me out a little bit. But the material is actually really nice. Like it's a very good quality. It's thick, it's soft, and it doesn't look odd in any way. Like the arm length is really good. And yeah, for a white, it's not see-through. You can see a little bit of the line of the undershirt that I have on here because it's cold as because it's winter um, but other than that it looks really nice and it is a full length as well so it's tucked in to the pants at the moment. I would say like one of the weird things is that the hem it looks like it has like a raw edge on all of the hem lines so it has you know the regular material and then there's this thin bit where it rolls at the top but I guess if I wanted to I could actually like hem it myself or roll it. It's not super terrible, but the material itself is really nice. It's really cozy. I think that the neckline on me is not the most flattering, but it is very nice otherwise. The next is this little skinny white belt. I've been looking for some extra belts to add into my collection that are either an interesting color or an interesting kind of buckle. So I ended up picking up this white one because I wanted a really skinny white one. These look really nice on any kind of pants and I do tend to just let them float on pants that don't have the actual belt loops. So these pants don't have any loops that this can go into, but otherwise it's just white. It's got gold on it, like it's got a gold buckle, which I like, and it fits really well. It is almost on the smallest loop. Oops, I just lost the bottom loop. So if you've got a much skinnier waist, I don't know if this is going to work very well, but yeah, it's just white with gold hardware, which I think is really cute. To put it all the way back on now, why did I take it off just then? <laughs> that was like dumb. Also, I have new art on the wall, which I think is really cute, but um, I realized that I hung it at a really weird angle for videos because it's like right where my head is because... I read that when you hang art, you're supposed to be looking at it, and if I'm wearing high heels, that's the correct height. Um, but yeah, now it's like right growing on my head, so that wasn't great, but that's okay. <laughs> the next are these sweet little earrings, which have got a little heart and then a bow on the bottom. These actually kind of match the necklace that I had in the last video, which had pearls and a bow. It looked like this. It's a similar kind of vibe, although it's not exactly the same, so this one has a few obviously different details. Like the bow on the outside of this one has got more pearls on it, whereas these ones are just enamel. But honestly, I feel like they're very, very similar. <laughs> but these are really cute. They are a little heavy where the heart is, and so they do tend to pull down a little bit like this. But overall, it's still a really cute earring. I also wanted to pick up a coat because it's summer everywhere else, and all of the winter stuff is on sale. So I grabbed this little black trench coat, which I think is actually very sweet. And it's surprisingly good quality. I think it was like 20 US dollars or something. Um, it's okay in the arm length, which is great. I'm not a huge fan of the like tortoiseshell brown buttons. I kind of wish that they were black or something, but I think it does work nicely with like the pants. This is a very neutral kind of style this time. I think I've only got two items that have got pink in them. Everything else is like black and black, tan and white. But this actually ended up being a really nice purchase. It fits well, even though I'm pretty sure I got an extra small because that's what was available or a small. And it has a really big belt loop. Like, I don't, why is this so big? I don't know, like, she massive, she's massive. So you can tie it up, which I never do. <laughs> I'm the worst at wearing coats. Like I never actually do the coats up, 
mostly because in New Zealand it's just not that cold in winter so like overnight it gets down to like maybe zero minus one sometimes um, but it's only overnight like during the day it's just it's just not that cold and so I tend to actually tie the little like belt around the back instead so it just stays put as some kind of decoration this one has like the little back vents but like it's not venting anything it's just kind of there I think it doesn't look nice though it makes it look a little bit more um, expensive than it actually was and it's lined like <laughs> it's actually got a lining in it which is kind of unusual I think a lot of the like thinner more trench like coats that I've gotten from Year Style in the previous years because I have had a few and I've actually liked them um, they generally weren't lined so this is actually excellent quality it has pockets you can put your hands in the pockets and put things in the pockets which is really cool it's just a slightly odd length so I'm gonna tip the camera down I'm gonna put shoes on as well because I'm wearing slippers right now because I did get these shoes which honestly I think are probably my favorite thing in this haul which is wild because like I saw them first and I was like those are cute um, I saw someone said that they look like Chanel loafers I actually don't know I don't really follow Chanel like I can't afford that but I thought that they looked really cute and I wasn't sure if they were actually gonna stay on because there's no elastic here there's no buckle you just kind of slip your heels in and I was like that's a risky business like what if the shoe doesn't fit I got a 37 and I would either be a 37 or a 36 so I went the like the size up of the two that I would get because like with a with an open back heel I was like I don't want my heels poking out that would be so embarrassing <laughs> like it would look like it didn't fit and actually my heels are like right on the edge but otherwise they fit really well so I'm going to tip the camera down you can kind of see that the jacket it finishes on a wider part of me it's not where like a skirt would normally finish, which would be a little bit further down, which is where my other trenches finish. So it kind of gives it a little bit like an oversized blazer kind of vibe, but I kind of like it. And then I'll tip you even further down for the shoes and I'll give you a better angle, I promise at the end. But this is what the shoes are looking like. They are really cute. I have worn them today already and they are really comfortable actually. They kind of feel weird to walk in. I don't know why, I think it might be because every time I walk I'm worried that the heel is going to pop off because it is really easy to, it just pops off, but it's also quite easy to get it back on as well, it's going to give your foot a little bit of a wiggle, and I know in summer my feet are going to be a little bit more swelly, they're going to be fatter because it's hotter, it is what happens, um, and so I think that for summer these are going to be, or like spring or autumn, they're going to be fine, but in the dead of winter I feel like they're a little loose. Okay, so here is the second little outfit. Again, these are the same pants <laughs> from Zara, but in blue this time. And this is the same top because I literally just didn't get that many things. Again, just accessories. But I also picked up this sweet little pink belt, which has got a silver heart of the buckle, which I really thought was going to be very cute, but it doesn't have a secondary loop for the rest of the belts. So it kind of just has to like tuck slightly awkwardly down the side. But it is what it is, probably not the main star of the show today, but I actually really like it. I think that this is a very cute item that will make everything like just that little bit cuter. But the main thing is this adorable hair clip, which is this adorable hair claw clip. And I can't talk to the camera because I need to turn my head, but it is so, so cute. I'm using a mirror to make sure that I can see you guys can see this and I just think that this is adorable I'm actually going to take it out of my head because I can't just <laughs> stare in the corner also don't mind my fringe it needs to be cut it's so long um, on the sides that it's starting to like flip up over my glasses <laughs> so annoying <laughs> honestly this claw clip has been on my wish list for a while because I just think it is so cute and I'm just picking some uh, <laughs> hot glue off that it is kind of expensive. I think it was like 10 something US dollars maybe. And I was kind of like, well, I hope it's going to be made with like, you know, good quality and like kind of, kind of. So it's like a little gold clip and it's obviously got little roses, little vines and pearls. And it is the freaking cutest thing ever. But there are little bits of like hot glue that I'm like picking off. <laughs> that you probably need to like clean up a little bit. 
um, what happens is that these aren't always hot glued onto the thing itself. So like this flower here is hot glued onto the clip, but then a lot of the other things have got wire. This is gonna be the hardest thing to see. So you can see like a little gold wire down here. So the pearls are threaded onto the wire. The roses are hot glued onto the wire so they can rotate like this. So I guess that they don't get stuck. And then the leaves are tied on by the wire. <laughs> it's like this gold wire. Anyway, it's you can't see the wire that much, but I kind of get a little bit worried. I feel like the roses and stuff are going to fall off because they're just hot glued onto it. Um, but I honestly, I couldn't tell you how else they would have done it that well. The roses themselves, actually, I think the roses might have been tried to hot glue onto the actual claw clip itself because they've got the right indentations. The, there is a hole in the rose, so the, it threads through the hole. Anyway, it's not that important. I don't know why I'm telling you guys all this. Probably nobody cares, but it is so freaking cute. You should absolutely buy it. Okay, and for the last outfit, we're going to go kind of the opposite colorway and then kind of cute and preppy. So again, it's the same pants from Zara, <laughs> but in like a bone color this time. I'm trying to count how many colors I actually own and I feel like it's more than I should, but they're really, really nice pants, okay? They just look really flattering. Anyway, this is like the bone color. I am blending into my grayish wall, which is weird, but that's okay. And I've got the black top and then also a black belt that goes with this. And that is, those are the last things, yes, because I was like two for each kind of colored outfit. We are good. So the black top, I'm kind of on the fence because I kind of like it and I kind of don't. It's got a little collar, and I'm so sorry about this freaking lighting. It's got a little wee collar that's not really a collar and a v-neck. I feel like the v always should be sitting a little bit further down here for my structure. Like I want it to be slightly lower, but it always pops back up because it's a bit smaller. Um, I don't think it had any measurements. I'm not sure about that. But the armpits always need to kind of feel like it kind of comes a little bit further and slightly ill-fitting. But it is kind of cute, honestly. It just kind of gives a little bit more shape to just a black top so that it's not just a black, like, round neck. I feel like it's just a little more interesting. And it's kind of like a ribbed fabric. I'm going to try and show you on this side because there's less sun. But it's, yeah, not really ribbed, but it's definitely patterned. It's not like a smooth fabric. But it's got long enough arms for me so my wrists don't feel stranded. Um, and it generally fits fine. Like it's very stretchy, so there's no problems for the bust or anything like that. Um, yeah, I, I think I like it. I think I like it. It's really good quality, honestly. It's finished quite well. There's no loose threads on this one. Actually, everything that I got this time was really good quality. There was nothing in this haul that I looked at and I was like, questionable, cheap, which is kind of good actually. And then the last thing is the little belt. This one is a little bow shape. I know that one bit of sun, so annoying, but I want to be slightly closer without moving the camera. It's got black kind of like pleather and gold hardware. And I swear I used to have this like 10 years ago, but in like beige. I like, I vividly remember this belt. When I was looking through the belts going, okay, I kind of want like something that's gonna like, you know, accessorize. And I was looking for this belt and I still have it. I'm so sure that I have, <laughs> I have to go look through like my purchase history, but I love this one so much. It's a little bit of a different buckle. So rather than having the traditional loops, it's got two prongs underneath here and they just loop into whatever part of the belt that you want and you just push them through. I do feel like this is slightly less um, safe than that ones. Like I feel like if I bend over or like put too much pressure somewhere, this might pop off, but in general, it's fine. The smallest part of my waist fits the two smallest prongs, um, which is good. So the belt itself fits, it's easy to use. And I can't remember why I got rid of the other one. I feel like it's because I went through a phase of wearing high-waisted belts with literally everything. And then I think I stopped doing that. And then afterwards, I just got rid of the belts. Either that or because 10 years ago, the fashion wasn't so high-waisted, um, everything was slightly lower. I didn't like wearing belts that low down because 
it was sitting on the widest part of my body and it made that part of my body very wide looking and I didn't like that so I think that is kind of what had happened but that's okay but that is basically the end of the video and the end of all of the products I feel like all of these products are going to be ones that I'm going to keep the one that I'm least sure about is the white top <laughs> just because I feel like it doesn't look as flattering like say something this one is where it's got actually some shape to it I think it's also because like I have my hair down and I've got my bangs out and I just feel very like covered up like I said like in like in not enough shape to amorphous of a blob um and so I didn't like that very much but it is very good quality so objectively it is a very good item I'm just feeling a bit meh about it right now <laughs> but otherwise I love the belts I think that that claw clip so freaking cute the shoes, really great. The trench coat, a surprisingly good buy. So I'm really happy with everything. And all of these items are gonna be ones that I can style well with a lot of other things. So while I didn't buy like full outfits, I hope that this gave you guys some kind of like stylistic, um, like inspiration. I don't know, I feel like I dress very blandly, but these are all outfits that I would go to work in and I work at a school. <laughs> so these are the back to school outfits. Does that make sense? But thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye!